Hi friends, welcome back to one more video of food for toddlers. Today I'm sharing an idea with you. It's a fusion food as it is inspired by the cooking style of North and South India. It is an Indian bread or you can call it roti or paratha. You can call it amaranth paratha or in Malayalam we call it chira chapati. This is using both the cooking style of North India and South India. And trust me friends, the result of this fusion is awesome. This deadly combination is very healthy and tasty too. This is the best way I found to trick my toddler to eat this very healthy green leafy vegetable. So friends, let's move on to the requirements. For cooking this paratha or bread, you need cooked moong dal. I have made it in North Indian style. This dal really helps in masking the taste and strong flavor of the leaf. For dough making, we need some wheat flour, some sprouted ragi flour, salt, and some carom seeds and the most important ingredient some cooked amaranth leaf or chira leaf so friends let's begin with the cooking of chira leaf or amaranth let's start with the spices required you'll need some black pepper as per your taste turmeric powder salt dry mango powder and chaat masala a, a few curry leaves finely chopped onions finely grated capsicum scrapped coconut so friends let's start with chopping the leaves try to give it a fine chop by doing so it mixes easily with the dough first chop the leaves then chop the stems and coconut scraping together these stems have high nutritional value they are as beneficial as the leaves so do not throw them make sure that they are finely chopped you'll get a texture like this so friends let's start cooking Heat a pot and add some oil to it. Traditionally, it is cooked in coconut oil, but I'm using regular cooking oil here. Once the oil is hot, you can add mustard seeds. This can be skipped too, as some kids do not find it interesting to eat. Then add some chopped curry leaves. Add some onion. I'm frying the onions till the rawness is removed, not overdoing it. Then add a good amount of turmeric because while cooking green leaves good amount of turmeric should be used. Stir it until the raw flavor is removed. Then add the finely chopped coconut and stem mix. Mix everything properly, give it a stir. Then we will be adding some capsicum. You can go for any color of capsicum, here I have taken orange one. Going for colored bells or capsicum is better as compared to green one because it gives more antioxidants and vitamin C. Then add some black pepper. I have taken a good amount of black pepper as there is no chili used. Now just add a little water so that this coconut and stem becomes tender and softens. By doing so it is cooked properly and can be easily mixed in the dough. Then add finely chopped amaranth leaves or chira leaves. Mix everything properly. Then add some dry mango powder. Spices used here helps in masking the strong flavor of these leaves. And friends, capsicum not only masks the pungent flavor of this leaf, but also add a good amount of vitamin C, which is very important for the absorption of iron present in these leaves. I have added some chaat masala here and now pouring some coconut oil. Adding coconut oil is an optional step. As we love to get that touch of coconut oil flavor, add some salt as per your taste. Cover it and cook it for a minute or two. So friends, these leaves are cooked completely and are ready to be mixed in the dough. Once they are at room temperature, we'll use them to knead the dough. So let's start preparing the dough. Take a bowl and start with adding wheat flour. Take 10 scoops of wheat flour. To that add 1 scoop of sprouted ragi flour. I will suggest you to keep the ratio 10 is to 1 as already we are using loads of ingredients in making this paratha so ragi should not be dense and when you keep 10 is to 1 ratio there is no flavor of ragi in the paratha. It just tastes like a normal wheat paratha. Now add some carom seeds and some salt. Add 1 cup of cooked chira to the flour and use dal for kneading it. Do not use water for kneading as the leaves contains a good amount of water in them. 
You can sprinkle few drops of water for binding the dough. Now pour some ghee on it and roll a small ball for making chapati or paratha. Once you roll the dough, you just have to put it on hot skillet and make it just like you do for your regular parathas or chapatis. Just pour a little ghee on it and while serving you can top it with some homemade white butter. By doing so you are adding vitamin D to the meal or you can serve it with any of your favorite curry. Now friends let's quickly go through the nutritional details. Friends amaranth leaves are much superior to most greens as they are powerhouse of nutrients. Daily consumption of these leaves helps in reducing bad cholesterol. They are storehouse of antioxidants, vitamins and minerals. And when you cook them with coconut, you are actually adding goodness of coconut along with adding good essential fatty acids. Fatty acids of ghee and coconut are very important for the absorption of vitamins which are abundant in these leaves. And when we are punching it with capsicum, we are actually adding a good amount of vitamin C to it which helps in bringing out best of the iron absorption to our body. Every bite of it contains good amount of calcium, iron, vitamins and minerals. So friends do give it a try and hope you all like this video. If so do give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get information about the uploads. So see you in next video until then eat well God bless.